<clears throat> hello, hello, hello. My name is Cool Shave Dave. Welcome back to Resident Evil 6. So here I was, just nosy in, having a look, see what I've done, what I've found. And I came across this gem. There's information, just like there was in 5. For all our people. So let's get reading. So I think these are the things that I was finding. I think I got these from getting those uh, BSAA emblems. So I think those are why some of these are missing. So I'll have to track them down. But yeah, let's just get to it. They don't look as long. So let's do Leon's... Um, for one ep, we'll do each character for an episode. So, Leon and Adam. Leon Kennedy and US President Adam Benford, so that's definitely not Ashley's uh, dad, are not only close friends, but champions of similar causes. When President Benford was a high-ranking government official, he handpicked Leon, elevating him to his high-ranking status. The two men were both motivated by a righteous desire to root out bioterrorism following the events that transpired in Raccoon City 1998. Adam had a reputation for being one of the few politicians with integrity. A man of his word, and Agent Kennedy found himself able to trust a man who had never directly faced the evils of bioterrorism. With mutual goals and a mutual respect, they grew close during their 10 years of fighting bioterrorism together. Unfortunately, their friendship is abruptly ended during a biohazard outbreak one with eerie echoes that mirror the tragedy of Raccoon City when Agent Kennedy is forced to shoot and, and kill President Benford. Field Operations Support Field Operations Support, FOS, is an organization operating at its highest level, at the highest level, sorry, of the US government. Its original mission was to provide uh, support for agents from multiple US intelligence agencies discharging their duties around the world as the dangers posed by bioterrorism came to take priority for US security. The FOS was evolved to oversee all operations that deal with the response to and prevention of bioterrorism. The FOS was originally formed in uh, 2011 by Adam Benford with Ingrid Hunning Hunningen, Hunningen installed as operations coordinator and Leon Kennedy as its field chief field agent. Ah, okay. Zombies. In 1998, a biohazard incident involving the T-Virus contaminated the entirety of Raccoon City. Inhabitants infected by the virus come to infection, but their corpses were reanimated by the same virus into shambling flesh-eating creatures. Reports from the incident indicated that many of the revenants' eyes were glazed over and their skin had either decayed or been flayed. As these revenants uh, resemble the walking dead of horror fiction, they were given the decidedly unscientific name of zombies. The source of the current biohazard event in Tall Oaks remains unknown, but the stages of infection of the victims bear a striking resemblance to those of Raccoon City. For better or for worse, the uh, appellation of the zombie has been applied to these victims as well. Ingrid Hunningen Ingrid Hunningen is a 33-year-old mission coordinator for the US Department of Defense. Uh, the U.S. Department of Defense's Field Operations Support. In 2004, she was instrumental in helping Agent Kennedy recover the then-president's daughter from a terrorist group. Mm, I mean, was she? I wasn't talking to her for a decent portion of time. Although she did send uh, the helicopter, so I will give you that. Uh, Level-headed and intelligent, she is competent at hacking into most security systems as well as handling the revel uh, relevant... Mission Intelligence. She is the guiding voice that has successfully delivered Agent Kennedy from many a perilous predicament. Tall Oaks Cathedral and the Underground Lab. Standing out in the skyline of Tall Oaks is a cathedral that marks a plot of land that has been in the Simmons family for generations. This land primarily serves as a meeting ground for the family's secretive dealings. And there are many hidden passageways and booby traps to obstruct any any potential interlopers. 
pardon me. The current head of the fam family, Derek C. Simmons, also known as a cunt, recently had a portion of the underground chamber refurbished into a modern research laboratory so he could have si uh, not, sci not citizens, scientists conduct research on the C virus. Uh, Lepotis Lepotista? Lepotista is a victim of the C-Virus, although one that is extremely mutated, the word Lepotista ironically is derived from the Serbian word for woman of beauty. The, creature, the creature's body is covered in large pores and secretes a deadly gas, oh it's those things. Anyone who inhales its fumes will die, yeah, and be reana reanimated as a zombie. One creature has the potential to infect an area within a three mile radius. Unlike the traditional zombie infection, which is spread by a zombie's bite or contact with contaminated blood, this creature turns the virus into an airborne agent, thus creating a contaminant that is harder to avoid. The bioterror attack that Agent Kennedy encountered in Tall Oaks was triggered by this creature. Mm. The catacombs. The catacombs that maze their way under Tall Oaks go back almost 400 years. They are the final resting place of not only members of the Simmons family, but those who have served the mysterious organization known as THE Family. These underground burial chambers are not known to the public, pardon me, but the catacombs themselves are still protected by many elaborate contraptions. To keep outsiders from digging too deeply into the family's secret affairs, although the catacombs are primarily used by the Simmons family. The primitively constructed caves and altars hint at the existence of the inhabitants prior to them. Leon and Ada Ada Wong is a spy whose major activities occur off the grid. Not much is known about her, not even if Ada Wong is an alias or her real name. Uh, I never thought about that, actually. Ada first encountered Leon Kennedy during the Raccoon City incident in 1998, when Leon was a callow rookie police officer trying desperately to escape from the nightmare that had enveloped Raccoon City. Ada was in the city carrying out a mission for a rival company to the Umbrella Corporation. Uh, when circumstances threw the two together, Ada hid the nature of our activities while using Leon to help her carry them out. The life and death struggle that uh, they endured brought them close together, and Ada ended up saving Leon's life. She threw me a rocket launcher. Unfortunately, they had to make their way out of the city separately, um, but they could not forget that they f what they felt for each other. Following their escape, their paths, uh, their paths were crossed from time to time. Leon is a US government operative and Ada as a spy. Ada makes no qualms about using Leon when it suits her needs, but Leon is loath uh, to bring himself to be done with her. They don't consider each other enemies, but it's hard to tell how they feel for each other. Complicated is the word that aptly summarizes their relationship. It's complicated. Helena's crime. Yeah, what was this? Because I feel like she was massively uh, blown out of proportion. Derek Simmons coerced Helena Harper into helping him assassinate President Benford. When he kidnapped her sister Deborah, good old Deborah, uh, Helena had a choice, had no choice but to send out an alert over the Secret Service's radio that a group had entered Ivy University with the intent to kill President Benford. The President was on the campus to deliver a speech and the Secret Service made sure the President was secure before his speech. A number of agents were dispatched to look for the suspect. This created the opening Derek needed. I see. Okay. Okay, I understand. You were part of an assassination. Got ya. Um, like, straight up, you were. Helena loved her sister, but she couldn't let herself be a party to a terrorist attack. She rushed to the campus to entreat the agents uh, to give up their wild goose chase and protect the president. Many of the agents were aware of her past infractions, so they were disinclined to believe her. What past actions? What's she hiding from me? Then the attacks came. Because half of half the agents were out looking for assassins, the service was slow in evacuating President Benford and was unable to save his life. What past actions? What are you hiding from me, Helena? That's a hard word. Rask Lapange. 
Rasclapunji is a victim of the sea virus, although one that is extremely mutated. Rasclapunji is derived from the Serbian word for demolition. Um, the smooth white skin that develops this creature is an, is an exoskeleton designed to protect the slug-like part of its main body located in its torso. Even if part of this creature's humanoid form is destroyed... Oh, these are the pig things. I see. It will not have any effect on the main body. These detached body parts can still search for prey independently and ensnare it. The flexible nature of its structure allows it, uh, allows it to pass through narrow openings like ventilation ducts and other tight spaces. Its primary weakness is fire. Thanks for telling me. And when it encounters intense heat, its main body will leap out of its humanoid exoskeleton to escape danger. Thanks for telling me that now. Derek C. Simmons. The C stands for cunt. Derek C. Simmons, 46 years old, is an aide to the President of the United States. He is a ruthless perfectionist, a personality, a personality well disposed to rise into a high echelon of power in government. He also is a little bit of a uh, stalker. He is the current head of the family, a secret fraternity of powerful movers and shakers that have manipulated the development of the Western world for centuries. This organization will do whatever is necessary to ensure stability and world order. Fearing the ensuing chaos that would result from President Benford's plan to reveal the truth about the Raccoon City incident, Mr. Simmons orchestrates his bioterror attack from the pre where the president would be but one of the many casualties. Derek's first transformation. After Derek Simmons is injected with an enhanced C virus, he enters a stage 1 mutation. At this stage, his upper body maintains a humanoid appearance, and his violent tendencies are amplified. What are they? I didn't notice. He has yet to lose his sense of self. His legs, however, transform into something beast-like, and he is powerful enough to or outrun a high-speed train, yeah. He can also use shards of his own bone as projectiles. That's what he was using. Ew! And can fire them off with deadly accuracy. Any bone matter lost in this matter in this manner is regrown thanks to the effects of the C virus. Ugh! Gross. Derek's second transformation. As the C virus infection begins to take root in Derek's body, he enters a stage two mutus, mute, He enters stage two mutation. At this stage, Derek's body resembles a gigantic dinosaur, a T Rex, and his muscular is muscu musculature is quite dense unlike the stage one mutation stage two derek behaves instinctually instead of rationally his driving force is to devour his enemies and he even goes as far as to leap into the sky and attack a helicopter ada is piloting he did do that so thank you very much for watching and we will read chris's next episode goodbye <laughs>